In this video, let's take a look at Final Cut Pro for iPad. We'll go over its main features, what's new and different, and consider who this is for. Apple has introduced Final Cut Pro for the iPad, bringing a unique video editing experience to the platform. The iPad version of this app maintains a similar interface to its Mac counterpart, while also enhancing it for the iPad's touch interface. As for the pricing, it'll cost you $4.99 a month or $49 per year. Final Cut Pro for iPad offers several new features, some of which are unique to the iPad. It offers full support for the Apple Pencil, including a live drawing feature that allows you to draw or write on top of video content inside the viewer. If you pair your iPad with a keyboard, you can take advantage of Final Cut Pro's keyboard shortcuts and create new workflows. The new jog wheel feature is a digital wheel on the side of the screen, allowing you to scroll through your timeline clips and make accurate cuts. Final Cut Pro brings a new camera mode to the iPad. Inside the app, you can shoot high quality video in any orientation, monitor the incoming audio, and see how much recording time you have storage for. This mode lets you control camera settings like focus, exposure, and white balance. You can also record in ProRes, Apple's professional video codec, with an M2 iPad Pro. Final Cut Pro for iPad introduces new machine learning-based features to video editing. These include a scene removal mask that uses machine learning to remove the background of a shot without a green screen, and auto crop, which finds the best view of your footage for whatever aspect ratio you're outputting to. How do you get footage into Final Cut Pro for iPad? You have a few options. Shoot the footage with the iPad camera, utilize a cloud-based solution like iCloud Storage or Dropbox, or simply connect a USB-C hard drive to the iPad. So who is this for? I think in this initial version, this is likely geared towards mobile users generating content and new video editors more accustomed to the iPad platform. We don't yet have feature parity with a desktop application or third-party plugins, but it does run very well on my iPad Pro, and I'm interested in trying it out in my daily work for a new editing experience. In the future, we'll cover more tutorials and use cases in Final Cut Pro for iPad. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything. Create with a wide range of great video effects at fxfactory.com.